In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a blend brush so you can paint your environment. And we're going to do three, three different brushes or three different uh, colors, I guess, on that one brush. So what you want to do is in the content section, you right click. And again, I'm going to post this right after. So I'm going to ask you to pay attention because there is quite a bit of detail here. And I'm going to do it with you so that it's a little bit. And see, I, I created a material. And I'm going to call it blend. This blend's good enough. I'm going to double click on this. And I'm going to drag it up here. So basically, this is a shader that is specialized. And what I want to do is I am going to go get three colors right now. And one of the tricks is to leave it loose like this, open, you know. Then you go back here. And probably you remember because I've talked about it a few times, that there is a starter content. So I'm just going to go look for it. There it is right here. And inside that starter content, there's already something called shaders or textures. So you see this? I'll just move it so you can see it. So I'll open this one. So these are basically Photoshop files. And the ones we're looking, we're going to get grass, uh, mud, and rock. So I just got to wait for these to show up. I don't know why they're not showing up. Normally it's pretty quick. Computer's still on the, on the holidays because of the weekend. And you're going to see a lot of stuff in here. The ones you want are like this one. So this T ground. So just drag it in. This is why I have it floating this way. Because I can just drag it in because I kind of, it's faster. Okay. Now I would like some mud. So I'm going to, again, I don't know why it's taking so long. This brick, you know what, that one's good enough. But maybe you want to take a little bit more time. And, of course, I would like uh, something that looks like rock, like this one, this cobblestone maybe. I'm going to go with the cobblestone. I'm going to just drag it in, okay? So this, by the way, is our first time doing, this is coding in, in Unreal Engine, okay? may not look like coding that you think you know of. Uh, like, you normally code that you've seen on TV as lines of code and stuff. The thing is, in 2022, most computer engineers don't just do that. That's like probably the last thing you need to be doing now. You just don't know it, but I'm telling you. Uh, and I'm going to put, uh, so this, I need something to mix these three together. That's what's missing. And I have what I need, so I'm going to just drop this up here so you guys can see the full screen. And when you right click, you're going to see the option to type something. So I'm going to write layer blend. Now there's a lot of code here. And with time, you'll learn a few tricks. So see, it's right here. I just click on it. And what I want to do here is have, make sure it's selected. Because if you unselect it, you're like, sir, it doesn't work. So check, click here. Press this plus button three times. So the first one. I'm going to select is this one. Oops, actually not yet. I want to select here. Open this. I'm going to call this grass. And I'm going to type 0.5. Do that for all of them. 0.5. Okay. Then I'm going to go here. Oops, again. I'm doing the same mistake. I, I want to do it here. Not. I'm going to type rock. And what did I say? 0.5. And again, I'm making the same mistake. I need to stay on there. See, once you change it, you see the name changes. And you want to keep it so that humans can understand it, as in us, not like the computer. So, and the last one is mud. I'll call it mud, but it's kind of not quite mud. And then change it to 0.5, okay? And what I want to do now is I'm going to drag this into the first one. If ever you make an error and drag it in the wrong one, just Control click, okay, and it breaks it. So, just because I wanted to put it in that one, that one's the one that's called rock, and that one's the one that's called mud, okay. And I'm going to just show you here. This is a, a shader. So, anytime you play a video game, you know, if I put this in my game, it would look like this color black right now. Now, it's still going to be black because we're creating a special brush. Well, it, it, you'll see it'll end up being black, but it doesn't look like right now so we're doing pretty good we have everything we kind of need so what i'm going to do is click save and apply 
Now, I need to actually do a few other things, but I want to just show you. And you guys have learned this. So now you have used the landscape brush. So you go over here, landscape. And one of the things, what we want to do is not sculpt, which I already showed you how to do, but paint. But we need to do something. So sometimes it doesn't pop up. Do I have to click save here? And maybe I forgot to compile and apply. Save. Of course, it won't work because uh, uh, what am I missing here? Paint. Do, do, do. do I have, oh, I know why. So I actually have to go to my environment. And I'm going to close this for now. So, so click. You see if I, all my mountains are highlighted? You see that in the background? And what I'm going to do now is go to my new material. I'm going to select it. See how it's selected? And you see here it says landscape material. It's pretty obvious. What am I going to put there? I'm going to put this blend brush. Okay, so that's what I forgot to do. It'll take a minute. Now it's all black because it's a blend brush. Okay, so I need to go now. I, I, I will help you guys. If, if It's hard, but I think if you follow the video step by step, you'll be able to figure it out. Mode, landscape. Okay, so you go back to this landscape mode. It pops up. See the red brush now? It's missing something. So here are my three materials. This is the part students always forget. They try to start painting right away. Well, it's red. It's because it's missing code. So what you have to do is just click, wait, blend, and layer on all three of them. And just save it wherever. It doesn't matter. As long as it's there, it'll work. So click. You got to do it for all three. You see, now look what happened. I have a nice green. Because the green one's at the top. You see it at the top? Whatever you put at the top will be at the top. Usually, you have more grass. If you wanted to put snow here, you could. You don't have to make the grass. Uh, you could make these three different if you really wanted to I, it doesn't matter to me okay you, you wouldn't lose marks but what so what I want to see now is I want to paint okay and this is the same as before like look how big my brush is I can shrink this uh, under paint and I'm going to shrink the brush because it's way too big and let's pretend I just want to paint this little rock here and, and I want to put rock on it I just paint Boom. Okay. And I'm going to put some mud. So maybe I want, maybe I have a drawbridge. I didn't build one, but you guys might have. And I'm going to do a little trail here. So, and then just give it a second. And there you go. But I don't know if you notice, if I press play, it, well, sir, it looks like it's plastic or something weird, right? So let's fix that before we move on. I'm going to press escape. And I'm going to go back to my blend brush. Now we could, and I don't want to get into this for great tens, but normally I could go get normals and roughness maps and all this, which is like making the code for the color a little more complicated. But we don't need to. There's like ways to cheat and make it shorter and quicker. I'm going to press one and click. So just by pressing one and click, it creates a, a, like a, a variable from zero to one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that on metallic. I'm going to type over here, one, and press enter. And I press one again and do the same thing for roughness. I want you to see how, how things will look a lot better in a second when I do this. Okay, and I'm going to click save. And of course, don't forget to click apply. It actually applies it automatically now, which is good. And sometimes it does this, and you have to wait for it to get to zero to see the effect, but maybe we won't. So let's see. It looks like it worked right away. So let's press play. Where's my play button? Yeah, look how much better that looks. So it doesn't look all shiny or whatever. So that's how you make a blend brush. And that's the, the easiest way to do it. You can see the trail. And there you go. So I'm going to press escape. And... I'm done for this video.